we catch up with local representative Julie McCluskey from the Capitol down in Denver. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. First, you aren't crazy if I-70 felt packed to the gills this weekend. Nearly 132,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday, 14% more than President's Day weekend, 3.5% more than MLK weekend, making this weekend the second busiest of ski season. It trailed the first weekend in January by just 1.5%, about 2,000 vehicles. Vocal Representative Julie McCluskey says two big concerns are driving state lawmakers all this winter and spring. The challenges that our state is facing, both on the public health front because of the pandemic, as well as the economic challenges that we've endured this past year, those are really the two priorities, I think, not only for myself, but all of my colleagues down here at the state capitol. Often, the two collide even far outside the walls of the Capitol. Making sure that we're still taking care of the most vulnerable people in our communities, the people who are in need of, you know, that extra support, whether it be housing, food assistance, utility assistance, or other things. McCluskey says the state, like Summit, weathered pandemic shutdown better than expected with single-digit revenue loss instead of deep double digits. But she understands... That is not the case for everyone. The Joint Budget Committee, of which I am a member, has just approved uh, an investment into the startup loan program, helping businesses that did close their doors get back open, or in this unique time, even help some new businesses get up and running. The state has already approved 4,000 individual grants for child care centers. In the works now are several small business loan programs. Wildfire season is already here for McCluskey, and she's trying to find cash and support for a unique piece of machinery, a Firehawk helicopter. Put them out at the point they start, before they even get a name or they get a story in a newspaper. She says funding right now looks promising, but the price is steep. In San Diego County, one chopper alone cost about $20 million, nearly 10 times more than a Blackhawk. The dirt is still flying in Dillon. The latest news from Homewood Suites is that they're going to be opening up here towards the end of June, hopefully before the 4th of July, which is great news. Uh, and then also Vail Health has stated that they're going to be opening in the fall. That was town manager Nathan Johnson. Those two sites are on schedule, while Uptown 240, the mixed-use condo complex at the town entrance, has been on hold for 11 months now. They had uh, a couple issues with some of the lenders that they're working with, so we're trying to come up with a, a reasonable solution that not only protects the town, but uh, gives Uptown 240 uh, what they need to keep that project moving. Johnson hopes to see contractors on site again by end of the month. A hotly contested solar farm is planned for Park County, where project manager Daniel Duss of Adani Solar USA believes the pros far outweigh the cons. The county's own wildlife consultant stated that the project in our wildlife impact report was accurate and correct in that this project under the current amount of development in this area would have no significant impact on pronghorn, uh, on owl, on, on wildlife. Displacing animals is the biggest concern for locals. The project is slated for 600 acres outside of Hartzell, about one hour south of Summit. In sports, the Avalanche play the Golden Knights tonight at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit School District is on winter break, but pandemic scheduling has teams playing all this week, starting tomorrow with boys and girls basketball. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.